hello youtube today we are going to continue the work cycle tutorial we started last week and today we're just going to focus on the mocap example now i've gone ahead and i duplicated these characters into three so this is the one we did last week the one here let me just play him so you can see this one last week we covered how to use the inbuilt footsteps to create a work cycle in 3dx max so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put them in selection sets so by doing this i can easily hide the entire hierarchy and the mesh so i'll select this one as well i'll call this keyframe so this one, we'll, we'll be using this one to create a keyframe work cycle for our character in our next tutorial. So I'm going to hide this as well. Then this is a uh, mocap. So now we have uh, the mocap character in the scene. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select the character. It's quite easy to create a work cycle with mocap. All you have to do is select the bone, then come to motion panel. Def by default you're usually on the create panel so when you select the bone let me i need to freeze the mesh so we don't select it continuously it's annoying okay before i freeze it because i don't want it to become gray i'm going to right click object properties and i need to uncheck show frozen in gray when i click ok now i can freeze and my character will remain we keep showing the normal texture maps and all so now I'll select the bone, any any bone in the scene, then I'll go to my motion panel right here. Next, I'm going to click this folder icon. You can see it right there. Just click it to load. To load. Um, there, are there are lots of um, um, mockups right here. So yeah, I have a walk. I have walk, but none of them is showing up. Okay, I don't think I have anything in there. So I'm going to look for okay I like this one okay this we have to find kind of you can go ahead go online and download any of these mockup mockup files there are a lot of free mockup files online you can get your hands on them or you can create your mockup files yourself by using a kinect or using a motion, motion capture suit okay so I'm gonna open this one and the moment I open it a character snaps what the motion capture data does is when you record a live action a live a live action with your kinect or using a mockup suit it stores the data and you can save it as a bvh file or stp or vi on um, bip so what i use here is bip because biped uses bip biped so i used biped and there is a way you can also convert a bvh to a biped but we won't be covering that in this tutorial. All we are doing here is just work cycles. So that's how easy it is to use, create a work cycle in 3DX Max with mo motion capture data. You can see this character is working so, so, so cool. It's working like a model, actually. So, so for instance, let's say we want to adjust this character. You can see there are lots and lots of keyframes here. It's impossible to work with you can go ahead and start picking so the solution to such is let's say we want our character to um, let's say let me look at the work cycle again let's just do something okay we want him to bend over like his spine want to work on his spine maybe he's tired or something like it's just okay now what we have to do to get that done is select our bone any of the bone uh, like I said before they just go down to layers. We use layers in the last tutorial as well. It's I'm I'm not really going in uh, in depth. I'm just scratching the surface. So right here we have create layer. So I create a new layer. I can name the layer. I can call it spine. So by doing that, you can see the the red outlines. That's showing us that we had a layer. We have a layer below and the new layer now. Whatever we do on the new layer just overwrites was below not like it erases it's just more like uh it's ma is a master so let me put it that way it's a master so i'll switch on my auto key i can press n or i'll just click it right here i like work animating with auto key 
so on frame zero you can see the spine is like this so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to set a keyframe on frame zero i can't use this for biped if i use this for biped it won't set any key so biped has its own inbuilt key info so all you have to do is set key click it right here come to key info and click and the moment i do that we have a keyframe you can see that so we want him to bend from this point okay let me just select more than one bone so give it a better okay now i'm gonna pose this guy like this and you can see now we have the other this red outline the red um skylines in okay let me just call him outline this shows that we have we had we, we we had um we had an animation before so this is the previous animation you can see the way it looks just showing us the difference so now i'm gonna go to frame 40 let me just make him bend more so now he bends like this so on frame 80 he bends even more and now he's looking awkward the neck is looking awkward so i can just go back to frame you can see we have we have just few frames and we're getting things done so i'll just go back to frame zero and frame and select this neck and the head bone i'll set keys for them as well go to 40 set keys for them as well then i can now ch um switch um rotate my neck a little bit like so okay so i come to frame 80 again then was looking really awkward here so that's frame 80 so i just bring him down you can see what we have here so it's so so easy to manipulate uh, your mocap data with animation layer so now okay we have this character doing this very stupid work cycle right now but i just hope you get it it's so so easy to work with a mocap so another issue you might have so now you now understand how to um edit your mocap data like you want to put an animation on it you want him to have a distinctive work cycle like you want him to work differently maybe he's bending like this guy or you want him to swing his neck often or you want him to just snap his hands to the side you can do whatever you want with the animation layer as long as it's above the previous layer now if i go down you can see this arrow if i click previous layer it just snaps back to the old animation so now we don't have the red outline anymore because this is the original so now I can just you can see original right here. You can rename it as well. You can rename this as well. So I just switch back to the next layer, which is the layer above. So now that's the spine layer. So another thing you might face when working with mockup, you can see our character was actually created at this point. Let me switch off auto key and go back to my figure mode. You get what I'm saying now? Okay. So before that, you can see we can't access our figure mode anymore because we are on the new layer so we need to snap back to the old layer just click previous or go back and switch to active something like that now we have a okay, we still don't have it let me switch back on switch go back to original then i'll switch you can see what if we want our character to start from here maybe we want him to to walk into a room from here and the character was just walking towards the side trying to key him to walk to this um to to this position would be very very hard so i'll switch back to the animation i'll switch on my animation layer i'll go back to spine so what i'll do is to move this character easily because now even if you try to key him let me switch on my auto key if you try to key him to this position it's that's that's a lot of stress it actually took me a while to figure this out so now like this let's say we want him to be like this then you can see it's so 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 annoying it's not making any sense so that means you you're gonna have to like make him snap like like this let's say we drag this keyframe there are a lot of ways but it's not it's still not working let me delete those keyframes so what i what, what i would advise you do is when you want to position your character in such a manner what you do is you just click on this button right here this one is called the move all mode what, what it does is you can actually position your motion capture anywhere you want so I'll just move him you guys not moving okay I'll just I'll go back to I'll switch down to my and so I'll move him I want to see this checkbox so 
so I'll just align this guy like this okay then I'll move him to the center where I want him to start from so you can see you will see this actually takes over the entire frame not like it's only happens like we're not setting keyframes now but the fact that I use this move this move on um, this tool right here this move all mode it moves the orientation of the character so now it changes the orientation of the character rather so when I play the animation the character just walks to the direction I, I want him to walk to you can see how powerful that tool is so that's how you manipulate uh, mockup data the work cycle and do whatever you want with it so now we, after we've moved it we can just go back to the layer that we worked on just you can see now we're doing our thing a weird work cycle so that's it for this week i hope you i hope this tutorial helped and um, don't forget to check out my other tutorials animation tutorials you might if you like this video give me a thumbs up i would love it and don't forget to share in case you have someone who wants to learn 3dx max i give tips regularly so th th this will definitely come in handy somehow if you're into animation and you're using the biped biped is actually very powerful too so hope to see you guys next time bye have fun.